hi hello and welcome so today we're just going to go over a very broad overview of how i've set up my system for running microsoft flight simulator uh streaming it through a second computer uh, and i'm using twitch but a uh, very broad overview of the programs i'm using and and how we're making that work uh, we're not going to get into much detail about how to actually set up the programs individually maybe we'll make some individual uh, videos about that one if you're interested please let us know you can uh, join me at discord link down below or uh, leave some comments here <clears throat> so very broad overview of, of the software we're using and how we're setting it up and some helpful hints had a lot of questions about that on a couple of streams uh, and, and in uh, in discord so thought we'd do a quick quick overview of uh, how we set things up so here we go all right so here's the end result and uh, for this, I have the game running off a gaming system. And I'll tell you about what the stats are in a second. And then I push it all to a streaming computer that has a lot of stuff on it. I don't have the best system, so I had to remove a lot of that stuff from it. And, uh, and like I said, this is a finished product. This is a flight I did today on Twitch. Again, the link's down below if you ever want to come watch me on Twitch uh ignore the landing it was uh i forgot to put the landing gear down landing uh so the other issue that i have which made the, diff the setup a little bit difficult is uh for work i use zoom quite a bit nowadays and i didn't want to have to have two computers running to do my zoom stuff every day so and i also didn't want to have to keep moving my mic back and forth so i've left my mic on the one system i use one camera the one i'm using now for work uh and then as you'll notice in the stream the camera is different i use a, a different camera for streaming so i've got cameras running off one computer mic running off the other computer um all the software off the streaming computer except for the game and one other piece of software that i had to leave on here because i wanted to have the landing rates the stuff that gives me all my controls there at the side but it took a, a little bit of doing so i'll show you all the software i use and i'll show you how i've set it up and hopefully that will help uh help you out a little bit if you're in the same boat i'm in should we watch the belly no embarrassing landing Okay, so let's just start with what we have running. So on the main computer, we have obviously the flight sim is running in this screen. And then on the other screen, we have the OBS software running. And the OBS software running, you'll notice, has very few sources in it. There's a whole bunch of sources over to the left. Ignore those. I haven't used any of them. Um, very few sources. So basically, I have little... Uh, nope, that one's gone now. That's on the other computer. I have Fly Live. Uh, that's my tracking software for the numbers on the side. And if I want the landing rates to show up on screen, I have to have it on the same computer as the game. That's what Fly Live says on their website. Uh, if I'm wrong about that, please correct me because I would love to move it over to my uh, my other laptop. Um, I have the mic because, again, I don't want to shift mics back and forth. And then uh, the game sound I've pulled in as a separate sound so I can control the volume a little bit better. That basically is capturing the computer sound. I could probably change that now that I think about it. And then I have a screen share of the game. So the screen share is, is capturing the game, the game screen. I'm capturing the whole screen because uh, for some reason, the OBS, I can't make it capture the game window when it comes to flight sim. So the other thing I have running on the main gaming computer, again, because it says I have to, is the Fly Live software. So the Fly Live software gives me all the stats, puts all those stats up on the, uh, on the screen there. So these are interesting stats. It's also my chat box. So I like I have this one nice and big, so I can keep an eye on uh, on predictions, that kind of thing. All that's happening through my Fly Live software. The other thing that I have open on on this computer are all these things. So to connect to the little nav map, which I'll show you in a minute, it's on the game. It's on the streaming computer. To connect so this is basically how i've set up i have my obs <clears throat> i have my little nav connect um which which connects the flight sim to the little nav map app on the other computer uh, i also have a dashboard here so for that dashboard i'm using uh moby flights to uh to connect to all my my homemade dashboard switches and and 
uh, rotary knobs and displays. Not a big, not a big murmur user though. And then this is a new app I'm playing with that basically uh, can, uh, records all of the records stuff that I want to record so I can replay it uh, at a later time. And then the other thing that I have open on this computer, on the gaming computer, is the uh, is the chat window so that I can see what's going on in chat. I tried it out over here on the uh, streaming computer, but it sucked. I just I kept missing chat. So now I have it right here on the main screen right beside uh, my main stuff. And then on the streaming computer, we have, so on the gaming computer, the main thing that we have going on here is the OBS. So the OBS software is what everything's doing. So it's running the, it's, uh, it's basically capturing everything from OBS on this system. So I had to install the NDI add-on for, for both the OBSs and then they talk to each other so this grabs all the information so the, the the little the little one on this gaming computer grabs all the info sends it to the main computer the streaming computer and the streaming computer is where i do all the stuff so i've got all of my gifs my sound effects uh, my audio uh extra music and also the camera comes off of this one as well off the streaming computer the the, the bigger camera uh, so the only thing the only issue that was really a bit odd with that is because the mic is coming off the gaming system and plays through the NDI desktop link, uh, second one down there, I had to put in a, a delay on the video to make my microphone match uh, my mouth movements. So that, that was a bit difficult. Uh, finally got it, but it took a little bit of time. Um, the other thing that runs off of the gaming or the streaming computer is uh, <laughs> is the uh, Sparkle Cam. So Sparkle Cam is used to access my camera. I'm using a Canon EOS camera Rebel as the webcam. So this this program accesses the webcam or the the Canon camera and turns it into a usable webcam. And then the other thing running off, so you can see how all of these programs would start to uh, would start to uh, bog down the gaming computer. So the other thing that's running off of this one is a, a program called Synergy. Again, I'll put the link down below. And this is a great program, like so I can use the same mouse and keyboard on both computers, uh, so I don't have to keep switching. I was doing that for a while; it was driving me batty. So that program has been a godsend. And then we also have running off of that computer the uh, bush talk radio um so this is the website where it's a, a cool add-on app when you fly over things like barry um it'll it'll speak out the information for you and there's a whole bunch of pois where all those little icons are pois where it'll tell you all about it when you fly over it it actually explains it to you but that website is also running over there uh, the other thing that we have running over on that main computer is uh, Touch Portal. Um, so Touch Portal is what I use instead of a, a streaming console. It was a, basically turned an old tablet into a, into a streaming console. I can program them all myself, uh, and that's also running on that. And basically that controls the OBS. So when I touch a button, it'll control everything that's going on there. And uh, the other thing that's running on there, which I don't seem to have an image for, standby for image. So this is a little nav map. It's the, an app, the app I use pretty much exclusively now for tracking my flights. Uh, we won't look at my last flight. Uh, picking my routes. Um, beautiful program if you use it already. Uh, you understand why I like it so much. It's pretty much the program I use now. Uh, and it tracks all my flights from everywhere. Um, does a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, wonderful, wonderful program. So this one's also running on the streaming computer. You'll remember there was a little, a little tiny app that runs on the gaming system to connect it uh, across the internet uh, to my gaming computer. The one thing I will say, though, is that my streaming computer, I had to make sure I ran a wire and plugged it in, hardwired it into my network. 
uh, it didn't work very well wirelessly. I thought it would, I thought I'd give it a go and I did, but it didn't work. The other thing that's connected to the streaming computer are in-flight movies. Um, like I said, sound effects, that's all basically running off the streaming computer. So now the gaming computer does little to no work except play the game. Well, software wise, basically we have the two computers. We have the gaming computer and the streaming computer. <clears throat> And I only use the two when I'm using the Microsoft Flight Sim because it's a beast of a program. So on the gaming computer, we have running the uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator. And then for that simulator to connect to all the other programs, we had to add the uh, FSUI PC. Uh, I use the 7 software. That, unfortunately, we had to purchase, and there'll be another link down below on how to get to that one. And then that FSUI PC7 connects to the uh, the Mobi flight, which is what I'm using for my dashboard, so you guys probably won't have to use that. It also connects to the little nav map server. And it also connects to the uh, the stats program that I have running on this system. Again, I only have it running on this system because I want to use the landing rates and apparently the one I use won't use landing rates. Now, um, Sim Connect, or no, um, there's another one out there that will do it all remotely, but uh, I didn't like it as much. So then, that's pretty much it. Uh, the other thing we have running on this computer is the OBS. And that's to capture my screen sounds. And in OBS, we have the mic. And again, I've only done that because I use this, the gaming computer for work, for using Zoom, and I don't want to keep switching my mic back and forth. Uh, and we have the game. And that's pretty much all that's going into OBS. So then OBS is using another free download, a free add-on called NDI. I'll put a link down below. And that NDI is basically what's being used to transfer it over to the other computer. So in OBS, you just go to Tools, go down to NDI, and you give it a name, turn it on, and it will start broadcasting it to other ones on your local area network. And so then that's going to take all the information over your, over your local area network. And again, hardwired is much better to another OBS version that's running on the streaming computer. And so again, that OBS also has to have the NDI software. But then on this OBS, I've got my camera. And my camera is again using a program called Sparkle Cam. So that's running over here. I'm sure there's others out there, but Sparkle Cam, I like it. Uses cameras and cell phones, turns them all into uh, into webcams. Uh, we also have coming out of into this one. We also have the um, <clears throat> excuse me. Let's just say all my special effects. So movies. Let's let's learn how to spell. We have our, our movies, our sound effects, our GIFs, our overlays, our switchovers, our streaming overlays, our chat windows. Everything is coming out of, is being put into OBS from that streaming computer, right? And that's going up into the stream. The LM, LM the little nav map server is going to connect to the little nav map app, which is now running on the stream computer. And that's going to update my location and everything else like that on the big program that runs on the streaming computer. Again, freeing up space on this little computer. Uh, the other thing we have running over here is the, uh, the radio website. <clears throat> In terms of that fancy, that fancy um, add-on that we had for, for Microsoft Flight Sim, you have to have the website open for it to work. Um, we also have uh, our charts are over here. 
a uh, whole bunch of other stuff over here as well. So we're basically running all of this other big software over here. So over on the gaming computer, we have minimal software and that just frees up time uh, for everything else. And then this does all the compiling and then sends it out uh, to Twitch or whatever you're streaming to. I stream to Twitch. And again, my link is down below. So that's, in a nutshell, that's the setup. So the ones that cost me money, uh, this one I had to purchase. Uh, the game, obviously, I had to purchase. OBS is free. NDI is free. Moby Flight was free. Little nav map is free. The stats program is free. Radio is free. Charts free. Sparkle, oops, Sparkle Cam. Uh, depending on what effects you want, there's a, a charge for that. All the special effects I made myself. So basically, it was just the two programs that we actually had to purchase uh, to get these things working. Everything else, free, 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 free. Which is great. So yeah, that's it in a nutshell, uh, a very basic overview of how I've got it set up and what's going on there. The other thing actually that I'll talk about now that I just figured out recently, um, the order I turn things on makes a huge difference. Um, so in terms of the streaming computer, really doesn't matter. You can turn them on in any order you want. Uh, they're just gonna sit there and wait. But in terms of the, uh, the gaming computer, I found that I had to turn on the OBS last. If I turned on OBS on the gaming computer before all this other stuff was running, I would have issues with the, uh, with the audio sync and a whole bunch of other uh, frame rate issues. Um, so I always found I had to turn that on last. And if I have troubles, I can always turn this OBS over here. I can turn this one off and on again. Have you tried turning it off and on again? Uh, and that seems to clear things up. So if I have an audio sync issue or a volume issue or whatever else is going on, I can continue the stream because everything's coming off the streaming computer and just turn off and turn on OBS again on the gaming computer. And it seems to, uh, to help out a lot. And in fact, if I'm having issues, that's the first thing I try now. I turn off and on OBS on the gaming computer, and it seems to clear things up before I start screwing around with too many different things. So I hope you found that helpful. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to leave them in the, uh, in the chat window or visit my Discord. Uh, I think the Discord's better, link down below. Uh, and yeah, thanks for watching, and come visit me on Twitch. You guys have a good one. Bye for now.